I sat down with another chap in a cafe somewhere in North London and we sketched out the idea of a brand new school that had technology and design and creativity right at its heart. And it was really in that moment that the idea of Hammersmith Academy came about. As a modern livery company, we had many of the things that other livery companies have. We had a Royal Charter, had our own hall, we had a charity, but what we didn't have uh, was a school. We decided to approach our friends at the Mercers Company, who have got over 22 schools. Most of the Mercers' other educational uh, relationships are very long term, they've been around for hundreds of years, and the Academy is our newest. Uh, venture in education and it's been very interesting and refreshing for us just to start afresh with a brand new organisation, particularly in the academy. It was quite daunting, you know, first of all standing on a mud patch here on the uh, school site, uh, but then seeing the steel frame go up and then the bricks and the walls and, 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 and just the excitement as the builders and the architects were seeing that vision come into reality. We did recognise it was going to be a huge amount involved in that whole process. And it was an extremely exciting period of time. And I remember being here on the first day when the school opens. I was literally in tears when the, uh, when the school opened, when the very first set of Year 7 students were walking into the buildings. And I remember one of the mums that were standing there you know, watching her child go in and was looking at me in tears and saying, which one of them is yours? And I pretty much pointed at the whole school and said, everything. <laughs> it was really, it was really moving, really emotional. For me the most wonderful moment in this entire journey was the first time I walked up Cathnor Road and came around the corner to see the academy springing out of the ground and becoming real. I think I should pay tribute to the students who have bought into the academy's culture uh, and vision and applied it diligently and wanted to succeed and have had ambition and have wanted to be part of a local community. Great debt is, is owed to our staff who've helped to build the academy and build its culture. Uh, I talk about people kind of buying into the vision, but uh, they always go above and beyond. And it has become a deep culture here at Hampshire Academy. It's not about just delivering the curriculum. It's about convincing young people what we have to offer is really going to make a difference to their lives. Being a teacher in general is extremely rewarding, but actually to be a part of the first 10 years of Hampshire Academy, the way it's been established, developing the way that we do things and the culture is even more rewarding. I've grown as a teacher, um, as a professional with the school. I've seen some of the students come in as 10, 11 year olds and now they're in year 13. And it's been really, really rewarding to see the school grow and the students grow and then actually feel that in myself as well. Just seeing so many students and their academic journey where they've really gone on to achieve such great things and really just kind of surpassed all expectations and you know actually made some really life-changing decisions and really worked towards some huge goals that maybe they would never have thought they would have been able to do. Hammersmith Academy is the school it is because we have the most wonderful students. You know, we have students who come from all different walks of life and there's such a diversity in our cohorts of students, which means that you don't really see differences as much, if that makes sense. It's a place that develops the whole student and you really feel that and it's a nurturing place. It's one where I think it's pretty amazing. We let our students make mistakes, but we also let them learn from that. We try and guide them to make the right choices and they don't always do it, but we give them that space to do that. And I think that's a school that I want to work in. What I think is amazing is that it's helped so many people. It's shaped their personalities, it's shaped who they are. They join in year seven not knowing much about the academy, not knowing much about themselves, and then going into year 11 and completely finding themselves and ready to take on sixth form, uni, and whatever they want to do in the future. The school gave me the opportunity to do a speech and it really helped me gain my communication skills and uh, helped me speak to other people to gain new friendships that helped me move on forward with life. My standout moments are when I was in musicals because I've been in a musical for every year that I've been here and I think when the cast comes together as a whole before doing shows we just become like one big happy family and it's, it's really nice. We had a vision back then but it, it's gone beyond that you know the school has taken on a life of its own the students the staff they shape the school to what it needs to be for this community and each generation of students define it again. In a sense, the 
Academy keeps getting relaunched every year as a new group of students come in, as a new group of students go through the school. So I, it's been a real joy and a delight to see it evolve and see it evolve beyond me and beyond my vision. We're astonishingly proud of, uh, of what we've created here. It's been an incredible journey from uh, a cardboard model in the library at Mercer's Hall to the Academy here that we're walking around and seeing today. The Academy is very successful in its local community. It has a great deal of demand for places every year. All of those measures of its achievement are above what the Mercers would have originally hoped for. I've been a parent here at the Academy for nine years. Uh, the last three of those years, I've also been the Chair of Governors. I think the legacy of the Academy over the last decade has been literally hundreds of local students, now adults, off at university, into jobs, in opportunities that this academy made possible. The academy's next decade, I think we're going to see some of the facilities modernise, some of the teaching deepen and embed and move as the curriculum moves. This school is producing the next generation of leaders of this great city of ours, and that means change, and it means adaptation, and I think we're going to see the school changing and evolving as the needs of the next generation of workplaces evolve, and that modernity has always been sewn into this school. The thing I'm most proud of is the fact that we've just become established in our local community. There is a real sense of belief of what Hammersmith Academy is about. What is next for the, the Academy is to continue to grow and develop as uh, we develop our educational understanding and looking to remodel our uh, educational design and, and take our design and ideas to our other institutions, whether they're primary and other secondaries, but to really kind of continue to grow and develop so that our young people that uh, have now gone on to a university and many of them are beginning to start work can come back as leaders and mentors and maybe even teachers. There's a, a proverb that says, um, until lions have their own storytellers, tales of the hunt always favour the hunter. Telling our story, telling our story of Hammersmith Academy is so important because generations to come will look back on who were the people that created this school and how did they make it the brilliant school with the brilliant reputation that it has today. And I'm so pleased that that's what we're doing.